Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Last time we did uh, Route 101 and uh, Metal Harbor. This time, I think I'm going to make it mostly Chow based since we didn't do anything with that last time and I've actually trained this Chow up quite a bit. As you can see, he already knows how to swim, which is the first time I've shown off swimming. Although he seems to be going hard. He also knows how to walk. I'm not sure if he's gotten to running yet. But I think he might be the only one that can walk. He's also very lazy, as I, as you can probably see right now. I have not gotten this guy to be awake ever since he was hatched. Oh, oh you can see his stats right now. Yeah, I've been focusing on fly a little bit more than the others and run too, because run's pretty important when it comes to races. Fly, obviously, because I want it to be a fly chow, and it's always already showing signs of that because it's kind of a purplish color. And it's getting those two uh, bump-looking things on its head, which is the correct attribute of a... God. <laughs> Look at this guy. Of a flying chow. Oh my god. Also, I grabbed an egg, and you might notice it's a little... Are you serious? It's a little different than every other egg that I've gotten. This egg is shiny. Okay. This egg is shiny. Which uh, basically means it's going to be a shiny chow. And of course the egg got put way the heck up here. Oh, by the way, he he uh, he evolved. He apparently evolved when I wasn't paying attention. And so uh, I didn't really get a chance to sit. He has like... <laughs> he has like after... Or um... Shadow. He has face stuff. Stop swimming, you nerd. I want to get you... Oh, there's a chaos driveway over here. Oh, and it's a run one, too. Ooh, I want that. Stay awake, stay awake, stay awake. Look at this! No matter what I do, he's always a-sleepin'. He doesn't even get mad when I wake him up anymore, because he's used to it. Jeez, get your butt up over here. I'm just gonna give you all of these and not worry about... I can't even put him down and give it to him. It's, it's that hard. Jeez. Nope. By the way, I am going to be using this glitch to where um, you can give them a chaos drive multiple times. One time I got him to use a a fly chaos drive two whole levels. Sit down. There you go. And there. Now I think at this point he should be good enough to uh, to do the level three races. Also, I'm going to hatch the shiny chow. So, shiny chows cost a lot more than normal chows. This one is actually 4,000 rings. Oh, my voice. <clears throat> so, I actually had to grind a little bit for it, but not too much. Because I had been buying a bunch of uh, skill fruits for that chow. By the way, after chows evolve into either a dark type or a, sh or a light or a hero type, um, they can no longer... Well, if they eat a fruit... Okay, if a dark chow eats a hero fruit, it's going to lose affinity with you. If a light chow eats dark fruit, then it's going to lose affinity with you. But it'll get affinity if it's the same type. So look at this guy. He's a shiny chow. Shiny is another attribute that can be passed down through breeding, and I don't remember if it's dominant or recessive. So I'm going to try and get some styling looking chows through that. Who knows what could happen. Anyway, I think this guy's ready to go. So let's start the races, why don't we? Alright, so you'll notice that now that we're doing um, harder races as opposed to just the first ones, they're going to... the chow colors are going to fit the color of what they need. So for the crab pool, I believe the chows are either going to be green or yellow. Or maybe both. Yeah, they're all like yellow, yellowish. And that's because yellow is the color that they turn if you give them a lot of um, swim things. Swim chaos drives or swim animals or what have you. Mine's turning a little bit purple because I'm giving him a lot of fly ones, but he's not that late in his life, so he's not as vivid as the other colors. So, and um, it's, it's especially noticeable when you do the climbing one because climbing uses power. All of the chows on that one are really red. 
Also, those little marks that are on their bellies that kind of look like wings on a little cloud. I'm not sure when they start getting the wings. So you notice how I'm really faster than him now. Okay, I'm still faster than him. That chow can't even swim yet. Um, but yeah, these chows can't run as fast or fly as far, but they can swim a lot better than most chows, but my chow's just too dang awesome, so it doesn't care. And since stamina doesn't get used up in swimming, or climbing for that matter, or flying, I'm just gonna use all the stamina, because this entire race is just swim. But yeah, you'll also notice that, um, chows start to get more diverse looking as you go on. Until you get to, like, the the gold chow, or silver chows, those are both things. Um, then they start looking like the exact same, I think. I can't recall anything. But look at that. Um, I've been giving, I've only leveled him up to, like, 13 and stuff, but he's still beating my older chows runs by, like, 10 seconds. Because the first run we did of this, when I used the hero chow, the time was 111. Now it's all the way down to 55. Oh, we got a we got a shovel. So that's one step into uh, planting the the things. By the way, those items can only be used in this main area, this main uh, garden. I've already got this guy in the hero garden and the dark garden. I haven't filled up with anyone yet. I will show that off this episode. Look at this guy. By the way, I looked at this guy's stats off screen and he has B for swim. B for fly, D for run, C for um, power, and then D for stamina, which is actually really good. Three Bs and nothing below a D, and only one D. That's not bad at all. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. And of course, his fly stat will be going up to A once he eventually evolves. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that chow that's right next to mine. That is a certified flying chow right there. That's what ours is going to look like eventually. Once it starts getting later into its development. Wow, what a cutie. Look at that. Mine's, mine's going to get there. It'll get there eventually. Wowie. And some of these actually have like different variations of that color because they're not quite completely fly. Oh, wow. These guys are... They're a little speedy. Luckily, I have the... Advantage of stamina. Let's make sure we don't swim at all. Okay, they all they all hit the water, so we're a mile ahead. Um, what was I gonna say? I, I had something I was gonna say. Oh yeah. Um, chows can randomly trip once they start walking. They can't trip when they're crawling, obviously. But ra chows will trip after they start walking. And tripping wastes like a good five seconds, so that could make the difference between you winning and getting last place. So keep in mind that that's a thing. I think with this pail we can now um, completely plant any trees that we want. So we, I can start bringing some seeds in here. This particular chow has a... his favorite is square fruits. So I guess I could start putting some square fruits in places. Actually, I think you should be able to bring the toys into the other gardens I'd imagine you would be and these chows are starting to look speedy so that one down there that one next to me especially is really turning green and I believe if you have a speed chow and then give it even more speed it starts turning blue like a vivid blue and starts to look like Sonic unless I'm wrong and it's actually you have to have a blue chow to make it look like Sonic because it does turn into the shape of Sonic as you can obviously see from that chow but yeah, this is what they start looking like if you give them speed stats. Wow, my chow's a lot lighter than the others. I think I have to start giving it more... Oh yeah, it's growing the things. I have to start making it chill with the dark team a little more. So it stops getting that that white hue. Yeah, we can't make sure... It, we gotta make sure it doesn't... Oh, white. These, this one actually is the harder of the... This guy is blocking me. Of the three races because uh, it's just running all the way through and these chows know their stuff when it comes to running. So luckily we have a pretty high st stamina stat for this early on. Because like I said earlier, later the games or the races get super long. 
Hey, a rattle. I'm sure my adult chows will enjoy playing with that. The funny thing is they will. All right, what do we got? Two more races? One more race? I think we have two. Oh no, we only have one. Okay, Block Canyon. This is the climbing one where power is important. So we'll see a bunch of red chow. Look at that guy. Look at that. He is pure red. And for once, the one that's most vivid isn't right next to me. Look at those guys. I like that purple shade on the right there. Not even bad. I like how the red one got in the red lane. But this is what they start looking like if you give them power. They get these ugly little bumps on the side of their heads. Like this red guy. Ugh. Ugh. Disgusting. Not even cute. The swim chows especially are ugly. Oh my god, like they remind me of frogs. Yeah, notice how we completely outspeed them there, but oh, they are catching up. Holy moly. He should be able to make that, right? Oh my god. What? What? He tripped. He tripped the second he got up there. I cannot believe this guy. He got so outsped up from them. I guess his power is as low as stat, isn't it? I'm gonna do it again. That was a fluke. That was a fucking fluke. I'm not taking that. Well, yeah, his power is lowest, but it's level 9. That's not too low. Come on. You can do this. If we win this race, we get an emblem. Do it for, do it for her. That is to say, do it for him. Or me, I suppose. Alright. Second time's a charm. Dude, that guy's laying down. He, he isn't even ready. Not even ready. Also, my child doesn't even have a face on him. Sadly. Alright, I'm gonna leave the running alone. So I can use all the stamina on my climbing. Yeah, you should get to the top without using all that. Come on! Did that... Was that first? Was that first? That was either first or second. Bruh! Literal milliseconds. Do I have to beat 1408? Oh my god, I might have to give him like one chow fruit. One level will definitely make the difference between this. Ugh. I'll give him... Um, uh, oh, also, look at these ugly fruits. Oh my god. Look at this. Can't even stay awake. Oh, uh, his stamina is far away from full. Like, I could give him a another stamina level and he'd be ready. You know what? While we're out here exploring this, let's go ahead and put our Dark Chow into there. So we can now finally see... Dude, I like this green and purple combo. Not even bad. So we can finally see the Dark Garden, though. Right on down here. To hell! Hmm. This is just the cutest. You should enjoy it here. Even though you don't have a flame ball like I wanted you to. We have another egg here, so, um... I mean, I might as well hatch it. We'll let him... We'll let it chill in here, though. We won't let it explore. And at this point, just start giving me names for, like, any chows, because we're gonna have a ton of chows by the end of this, I promise. Oh yeah, one thing I particularly like about this level is that you can stand in this cage. It's kind of funny when you have Eggman stand in it, because he touches, like, the top of that. Eggman's huge. He, you, you can't, you can't swim though. Hey, Slut Muffin, how's it going? Ooh, Slut Muffin. Oh, that fit in the character limit. I would totally name you Slut Muffin right now. Sadly, that's not a thing that's going to happen. Also, the fruits on the trees in here are a little different. They look absolutely disgusting and flesh-colored. I love it though. Also, this pool is obviously filled with blood. I don't know... I don't know how they got away with that without raising the rating, but you know what? Whatever. We'll, we'll let that slide. Now hopefully the kindergarten has some chow or some hero, or not hero fruits, skill fruits. So I can use them. Hello. Oh, I don't have money, don't I? Yeah, I don't have, I don't, shiny blue egg, bruh. 
I would have gotten a shiny blue egg if I had known. They don't even have skill fruits. Ugh. Get out of my face. Well then, I guess what I'll do is I'll raise his stamina so we can sprint the entire time. It's the last thing I can think of doing. No, I'll stop that. Fucking pussy. Look at this, he's still sleeping. What a surprise. Jeez. There was one time when he was happy. One time. Don't do that. Jeez. Here. Have an egg. You eating that? You better be. Bro, you haven't even made a dent. There you go. Go at it. Go hard. Okay, what did I just tell you? You're a different one, but still. Uh, you're not done with that. We gotta get you to stamina to level 10 so you can actually do something. Mm-hmm. Alright. Now, come on. No, you ain't sleeping yet. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, son. You got another coconut to eat. Rotten coconut, to be fair, but still. Coconut. You got it. Just three more bites. One more. Or two more, I think. There you go. Oh, you're good. Okay. Now we should be able to beat that race. Please. J just give it to me. So we can unlock the next races and I can start working on them. Oh yeah, I moved it. Also, notice how the chows that I'm not giving anything to are like... They're stem things that connect their dots are getting higher as opposed to mine which doesn't have much of one yeah the older a chow gets the higher that gets especially on our like hero chow I think it's like all the way almost touching it chaos chows especially like I think they have it their little pointy thing goes above their dot all right start right there that little guy just tripped and ate it oh my god he's still out climbing me Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! I think I beat him. I beat him. Get wrecked. How do you like it? And now my little chow has a medal on him because he won all of them. Or maybe that's always there. Maybe I just didn't notice. We got a toy car for chows to play with. I don't think these actually make any visible, like, difference. Oh yeah, finally we got an emblem. And everyone starts shining weirdly. Because apparently if they do the shine effect on the emblem, they have to do the shine. Oh, they all open at once. Look at this. I just I just kind of want to show you how wrecked the Chow would get currently. Like, he's fighting a baby angel Chow. Which is a Chow that hasn't evolved into an angel yet. Or a multiple of them. I want to show you how wrecked my Chow is about to get. Also, keep in mind, these are all neutral angel chows so they don't have any affinity towards anything but the music is different yeah interesting there's also interesting music for the dark races no I'm not getting absolutely destroyed I mean I'm in last also notice how it's um, the course is a lot longer wouldn't it be insane if I won this I don't even I'm not I don't even think I have enough stamina to win it to go to the end. Actually, it could be possible. Running isn't my best stat. It's flying. I'm not sure if there's a flying part on this. Ooh. Oh, we have to make a decision. Is my child smart enough? Because the chaos drives raise intelligence and... Oh, no, they don't have to make the decision yet. This is the room where you usually would make decisions, though. Nah, my child doesn't have enough stamina to make it. He's going to run out of stamina before he reaches the end. There's no way. He's done. It's rip. It's rip times. Man. We're going to see it through to the end, though. But I don't think it's anything interesting. I think there might be a swim section at the end. Possibly. Hey, at least he's not getting in last. Because <laughs> all those other guys are tripping. Like, look at how far back that sets them. 
I believe the ball on their head is based on their typing. Mine's gray, though. Why? Oh, he ran out of stamina. He's slow. Rip. I'm not gonna... I might get last. Now every time I press A, it makes a boom. Dang. We got wrecked. We beat two of them, to be fair. But yeah. It gets harder. It gets much harder than this. Oh, dear God. The challenge races. Oh, my God. There's like 20 of them, if I recall correctly. Try again. Um, no. I will really not. The challenge races I are the hard ones, I think. I'm not going to actually challenge one right now. I'm just looking at them. Oh, yeah, we have to... There's like eight of them. Oh, my God. And look at that. Gold and silver rivals. Jeez. I don't even know how you get a gold chow. I'm not sure if that's an egg or something. But I don't got that. Hmm. And then there's the jewel races. What are these? Amethyst? Garnet? Pearl? No. We Peridot! Garnet! Oh my god, no way. That's the best. I love it already. There's five levels. Oh my god. I love it already. Oh my god. Peridot and Garnet are on there. It's a shame that uh, there's not going to be another Steven Universe episode for the rest of the year. Okay, so with that, I've shown off all of those beginner races. Now's when I really get the grinding down on my chow. Also, this guy's going to drown. Rip. So, I'll see you next time when we probably do a mix of chow and some missions. Hey, maybe we'll, you know what? We still have the races to go, so maybe I'll do some of those and show those off. I think there's three of them. All right, yeah, that's what we'll do next time. So, see you all then, and goodbye.